Uh, we have defined the value of k such that these two lines are perpendicular to each other. Obviously, we are going to use the fact that if uh, L1 perpendicular to L2, then M1 times M2 is equal to negative 1. We are going to use this property. In order to do so, we have to find out the slope of the first line and also the slope of the second line. Uh, I always do that uh, by changing it to slope-intercept form. Uh, you may memorize the formula, but I do not suggest that because you may not uh, check whether it is exactly the uh, standard form. So we know that m1 is equal to negative 3 over 2. Similar reason. So m2 is equal to negative k over 12. The given condition is negative 3 over 2 times negative k over 12 is equal to negative 1. Therefore, k is negative 8. Uh, this is a very straightforward question. The key point is whether you can get the slope very accurately. Uh, even though you use a formula or you change it to a slope-intercept form, you should be able to get the same answer.